Okay, guys, welcome to our fifth lecture of section three. Let's talk about the CHOMP operator. Okay, so the CHOMP operator. The CHOMP operator is a Perl built-in operator that works on a variable. And pretty much a variable that holds a string value. The variable has to hold the string. And if the string ends in a new line character, the chomp can get rid of the new line. So the chomp operator, the responsibility of this operator is just to remove a new line character from a string value. And once we do some examples, I'll show you why it's important for this to happen with the chomp operator. It's the best way to remove a trailing new line from a string and a variable as well. So again, that's all the chomp operator does. It just cuts off the, the new line character from a string value. Okay, so let's go ahead and do some examples. So if I declare a few string values, so let me set up some scholar variables. So I'll name this, let's say string, so string one, and I'll just put for the value, string one let me just copy and paste this and I'll just name them string two and three so string two and string three string two and string three so if we put a new line character on our strings which is the backslash followed by n and that adds a new line character to our strings the end of our string that is and let's see what happens so let's say if we just print them out I'll go ahead and type string one so I'll copy our scholar variable or, or yeah, our scholar variable and I'll just paste it in our double quotes and I'll put a space and I'll do the same thing with string two and then I'll do the same thing with string three and let's see what happens here so if we just leave it like this we save our work control and S and we press F5 well let's save our work first so I'll let's say I'll just save it as sample dot pl which is our Perl program this file already exists I'll click yes to overwrite it and I'll just click F5 and let's see what happens so as we can see we have this nasty looking output right here and again it's giving us our string one it's creating a new line so it's giving us a vertical output so let's say before we use those prints let's use our chomp operators so if we do chomp and we do the one so let's just copy and paste that and then we do the same thing with string two and three so I'll just paste that there and I'll do the same thing with string three of course I'll name them correctly string three string two and I'll save the work and let's see what happens here so once we save it we go up and click run run our script or type F5 and look what we have it's in a horizontal row so it got rid of our new line characters 
so we can format our string values a little bit better as well so again it just removes the new line character so we can format each value a lot more cleaner as well we can actually use operators string operators as well so again what the chomp operator does all it does it just removes the new line character at the end of a string value for better processing or we can use those string values in a much nicer task so if you guys have any questions please feel free to harass me and um, I'll definitely answer them the best way I can but again the chomp operator is just responsible for removing the backslash and or the new line character to give you a a string value without the new line character at the end or any extra leading trailing characters at the end of the string value.